Kia ora team. Um, today's problems, uh, we're going to do a short multi-choice question. Think of it as a Calcex practice. Hopefully Calcex is still going ahead this year, um, later in term three, um, going for the four, fourth year in a row, fourth victory. Um, so maybe time yourself, um, and in the case these questions are designed to not use calculators uh, or um, any technology. Um, I'll go through detailed solutions afterwards. So here are your um, four problems for today. Pause those and have a go. Alrighty, solutions. The first one, I said that there is no use of technology, but I mean, I'm going to use the technology to help teach, uh, but also just kind of see quickly what the answers are. So we needed this function uh, to have an appropriate domain for this, um, dom the domain of the function is the values of x that are allowed, um, or sorry, the values of x that make the function defined. So we need the square root thing to be um, not only greater than or equal to zero, but we need it to be greater than zero to, to avoid the division by zero. So um, if we do that, we end up getting that sine x has to be between minus one half and one half. Now sine x repeats on and on forever, so there's going to be heaps of different ranges of x where that's true, we need a um, continuous interval of x. So um, here is the answer. The three um, options that were given in the question, um, the first three are all wrong. Um, the, between 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6, the fourth um, option that they gave is correct because the sine graph is in between minus 1 half and 1 half at that time. So the answer is D. Uh, second question. Uh, we had this random as function made up of cosine squared, sine squared, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and the range of values for f is the set of y values that the function um, outputs. So first you need to notice that the function actually factorizes. If we um, group together some common factor, um, com a common factor appears. And so we actually end up with quite a simple function of just 3 plus cosine squared. So cosine, cosine is a function that goes between minus 1 and 1 um, in terms of its um, range. So the square of it is going to be between 0 and 1, and therefore our function is going to range between 3 and 4. So the answer for that is B. Uh, third question. This one um, isn't actually as difficult as it reads. Uh, first up, you need to notice that the um, sine function is increasing and the cosine function is decreasing on the interval that has been um, provided. Um, now, f of f of x, what that means is take the y value um, of the sine graph, because that's what f of x is, and put it in back into the function. So you're, effect, you're going sine of sine of x. Because sine x is increasing, the input values for f of f of x, the input values are increasing, which means we're taking the sine of increasing values, and a sine of increasing values will be increasing values. Um, but the one where it's a little bit tricky to understand, I guess, is that the um, cosine graph is a decreasing function, but we're putting in a decreasing sequence of, of, of values. So we're kind of doing the cosine thing backwards. So we're taking the decreasing function of a decreasing function, which is actually increasing, as the graph shows. So the answer to that is B, um, f of f of x and g of g of x. Okay, the last question, the minimum value of this function is 12. It's the minimum y value that the function gets to. We could use differentiation. We haven't done this yet this year, but for those who know the knowledge, use the product rule, the quotient rule, the chain rule. You go through the motions and you can follow this all through, but you get to a roadblock here because we need to solve these factors equal to zero and they've both got trig functions and, and x squared and x's in them. So um, good luck with that. The nice solution to solving this problem is actually just to use the AMGM inequality which says if we have two things added together, it's greater than or equal to two times the square root of its product. And so if we apply that, we actually get a minimum value of 12. So the answer is D. Pretty neat, huh?